Have you ever been truly alone? What do you think would occur if left with just yourself? No distractions, no internet, just you. Alan Watts speaks of the punishment of isolation. He mentions that being placed alone in four walls would essentially be hell to the modern man. For a society that thrives on external stimulation and social interaction, could there be something to learn in spending time truly alone? Life is short, or is it? We go through life with this belief that it is short. Rusi challenges that statement. In comparison to the time that the world has been spinning, maybe life is short, but the only thing that seems to live longer than the human being are the world's greatest trees and a few sea creatures. What if we were to spend the entirety of our life alone, simply watching nature grow? Would we still think life is short? Don't worry, Rusi doesn't ask you to do that. Rusi is merely pondering. As a child, we are introduced to this fast-paced, chopped-up way of living. We learn to wake up in the morning, brush our teeth, shower, get dressed, eat breakfast, leave the house, arrive at school. Once at school, we spend six hours having five to six different classes, two breaks, tutor time and sometimes assembly. Finishing school, we travel home, socialise, participate in hobbies, do our homework, eat, shower and go to bed. We then wake up and do it all again. With the day broken up so much, spending time neither here nor there, it's no wonder that life seems to fly by. Does life appear to be quick because we are always on the move, breaking our days up into hours and our lives up into segments? Every section of our life has a name and an expectation that comes with it. We start as a baby, move on to a toddler at preschool, to a child at primary school. Soon enough, we are a teenager at secondary school and then in pre-adolescence at college. Before we know it, we're in the uni phase of life, but suddenly that comes to an end and it's the working phase. Up next is the 30s, children, marriage, buying a house, a car, a dog. It goes on and on and on until you reach retirement and you finally spend time alone. You sit with yourself and reflect on life just as it's coming to an end. What happens in that space? If life was a case of go figure, if there weren't all these systemic plans made for us, if there weren't all of these distractions, would it go so fast? Rusi, the forest dweller, spends his time in isolation, not the form of isolation in which you sit in your room, television on, neck bent looking at your phone screen. Not the type of isolation in which you are still connected to the mass consciousness through the internet. Not the type of isolation where the opinions, ideas and lives of others enter your mind without notice. Rusi spends his time in emptiness. He meets the void. He hears the voice and listens to the silence. Rusi becomes comfortable being alone. The story of the prisoner, confronted with four walls and himself, is also one of interest. Rusi may have an abundance of nature as he typically chooses to dwell near a forest, but a prisoner lives in a box. 
when you look at the things created in prison, in a place in which things are typically limited, it is quite amazing. They create tattoo guns and ink from burning a candle beneath a paper bag until carbon forms. That carbon is mixed with shampoo to make ink and tattoos are available. They create all sorts of weapons with the things that they can find. They even ferment fruit to make alcohol and find ways to work out and build muscle with what they have. It seems that even in a place of intense restriction, much can be made. It is amazing how the mind will work, how creative it can become, and what it will figure out when in isolation and the appearance of limitation. Solitary life. A solitary life isn't for all of us. Let's be real, many of us will never experience life in a cell, nor will we choose to isolate ourselves to the level of a forest hermit. And Ru Si isn't asking you to. Ru Si, however, is encouraging you to challenge yourself to some true alone time. Can you spend some time alone? Can you disconnect from Wi-Fi, unplug the TV, communicate with no one, and spend time in emptiness? Just you and yourself. If you take on the challenge that Rusi has to offer, it is suggested that you hold a notepad and pen close to you to jot down anything that comes to mind. Where will you go with no distractions? What questions will you ask yourself? What will you find in emptiness? <laughs>